Are you ready to learn how to draw forearms, the most powerful alien from Ben 10? Whatever. Time to throw stuff. Well, grab your pencils and let's draw. And don't worry if you miss anything. You can stop the video and watch it again as many times as you like. Right, forearms has a huge body. Well, he is 12 feet tall. A really great tip to help you with the frame of his body is to draw a large kidney-shaped bean. Let's start at the top. An upside-down plant pot works well for his head. Draw this in carefully on top of the large bean template. Inside the head, draw two downward lines and one across from left to right, like this. For the markings on forearm's face, you could use a small curved door shape. Draw this in where his head meets his chest. Two tiny apple pip sized shapes on each side of the downward lines you've just drawn are a good way to draw his eyes. Another good tip to make forearms look a bit more lifelike is to draw in a few extra lines here and here. It will help to make forearms look as though he's frowning. And remember, this is your drawing, so you can play around with details and extra bits however you like. Forearms is starting to look awesome. Right, let's add the Ben 10 logo. The logo proudly sits in the center of his chest. Draw in a small disc shape. Next, draw a very short line straight down. Curve the line around to the right and back to join to the disc. And now you have a 3D shaped logo. Color in like this to make the logo detail. Remember, you can stop the video and go back at any time. He's quite a complicated alien to draw after all. Next, sketch in the upper and lower arms. It's a good idea to use a few large circles as a guide. You can take your time to draw them so that you get them in the right place. Forearms is very big and powerful. His arm's strong, so keep this in mind when drawing the circular shapes. Start from his right shoulder. Draw an upward curve and then a large circle and then another one linking through the first circle like this. Draw a third circle to form his hand. For the lower right arm, draw one of the large, round rock shapes poking out from behind his body. Draw another one just below, linking through it, just like this. Right, next, let's put in his left upper arm. Use those round, large rock shapes, just like before, then link them together. Two circles for his arm and a third for his hand. To draw the lower left arm, Draw two more large boulder shapes. And a third circle for his fist. Just like this. If you like, you can rub out some of the extra lines you've drawn as a guide. Let's put in the arm details. Draw in double lines curving around his muscles. And why don't you sharpen up those lines around his arms, the ones you lightly sketched earlier? Draw over the top to make the lines thicker. Make his fists look solid and strong. A good idea for this bit is to use rectangular shapes a bit like rectangular sausages. They can be used as his fingers. Join these up like this to make the fist. Forearms is one of the most tough looking aliens. Another great tip is to keep thinking about his character as you draw. And he's pretty mean after all. If you like, add bits of line detail and go over those sketch lines to make his arms even more defined. There are spiky shapes to add around his upper arms and his lower arms on each side. By now, you're going to notice how this alien is really coming to life. He's looking awesome. Great work. Go over the sketch lines on his lower arms to define and thicken those arm shapes.
and sharpen up those fists. Mean. <laughs> you can rub out any mistakes as you go too. Or perhaps where your pen might have run over. But you don't have to. It is your drawing after all, and nobody's perfect. Now we can draw in the lines which will make up his lower body, like this. Let's put two long lines down the middle of his chest to the base of his main body. Do the same on the other side, and add a couple of extra lines for details, like this. When it comes to drawing his legs, keep them much slimmer than both sets of arms. It's much easier to draw each of his legs in two parts. Draw the tops of the legs on both sides by drawing slightly curved lines down. You could draw a sharp corner out and then down again to create his knees. Finish off his legs by sketching in two lines equal distance apart. Draw lines going out to the side, then in again on both sides, like this. Take as much time as you need, and remember, you can stop and play the video at any time. Finish off forearm's left foot with a pincer shape at the end, to look a bit like a crab claw. Do the same on the other side. Add in a couple of extra lines, for details, like this. Wow, he's looking so cool. And now, my favourite bit. It's time to colour in. So grab your colouring pencils. His arms, all four of them, are very bright red. Colour these in. Stay in the lines. Nice. He has black stripes on his upper arms and his hands. And his legs are black too. We're colouring very quickly here, but there's lots to colour in. So you can take your time at home as you carefully fill in all the areas. Forearm's face is also bright red. So let's colour this in. Nice. There are some extra black details to colour in here too. And don't forget to colour in his eyes with a Ben 10 bright green. Awesome! You could include a little bit of shading in light grey around his chest to really make him pop. Sweet! I did it! Hooray! And there you have it. Great work! Forearms is finished.